for the love of birch. We love our birch trees, and I'm gonna tell you why. Well, recently we uh, had a video, might be part of this video, where we, Eric and I tapped these birch trees. Uh, but we showed you how to do it, it's very simple. And we come back for the first time, and our bucket is full, and we are stumped. So Eric and I are just gonna show you what we do. I mean, we do have to um, carry this jug pretty far down a hill uh, to bring it back, but we like the workout. So, um, let's just slide our lid off here. And Eric's gonna hold our homemade funnel that we made out of a apple cider container. And this is how we do it. It's a lot, it's full. Hold that bucket on the bottom too so that it doesn't fall over, but it's a blue bucket. What are you going to do with this sap? So, just like maple, uh, maple trees, you can boil the sap down and you can create syrup. However, a typical maple tree, uh, maple sap is about 40 gallons of sap to get one gallon of syrup, which is um, a pretty boiling intensive process and takes a lot of energy and a lot of time. Birch sap, however, is 120 gallons of sap to make one gallon. And that's uh, tripled, or no, no, not tripled, I'm sorry, less less than doubled, but still a lot. Um, less than doubled, no, 40, 80, You're right. 120. Triple. It's tripled, okay, we're doing math. Um, and so we, so we are using the sap to just drink the sap itself. Uh, I did a little bit of research recently on the benefits of birch sap, and apparently birch sap is a natural spring detoxifying drink. It cleans out your lungs, your liver, your kidneys, and a whole bunch of other things. And so that's what our family is going to be doing for the first time this spring, right now, right when we get done with this. Um, so that's it for the tapping section, and we're going to show you why else we love birches in just a minute.